inside of, well, the truth is, actually, the, the knowledge that I gained in Kung Fu, learning the body and learning how to break the body down in a self-defense manner, got me interested in what the body does. And, um, and that drove me to learn Pilates, which dove deeper. But now, you know, knowing all these things, Pilates and the strength that I've gained from it, and learning how to breathe and using my muscles in a proper way, like we do in Kung Fu, has made it my Kung Fu better. Well, I think that's helped me become stronger because I'm training with you now to, and previously with Sifu Julie, to get my body back into alignment and more balance so that I can do Kung Fu because that was the point too. I want to be able to do what I want to do and have better health because Kung Fu does contribute to my physical health and also my mental health. And uh, I feel like uh, training with you recently, I, I can tell my body is getting stronger, right? And that helps me in Kung Fu to be able to have more control and better Kung Fu because I'm in, in better physical condition. Yeah, and we, we've talked, we talk a lot about the breathing side of Kung Fu is, <laughs> It's huge, and I know, Sifu, you can elaborate that on that, but for me, learning how to breathe, I was always breathing through my nose, you know? Learning how to take a deep breath is very healing, and, you know, um, let's see, where am I going? That's, well, that's, right. that, uh, for I mean, mean, to you. I talk yeah. about that all the time, mm -hmm. because I was such a shallow breather. It's probably on every video I've ever done, or when I teach class, but I talk about, how I was just like more of a chest breather and through my training and through my qigong and through my combat and you know harmonizing my breath with my movements mm -hmm. I've learned how to breathe mm -hmm. and that's huge everyone has to breathe right but I've learned also through my qigong training which I, I do regularly and in the mornings and I've learned like how to really I'm just moving energy through my body, right? We all have energy mm -hmm. in our bodies, but we can call it chi. And so I've learned to circulate my chi in my body. And if I have like my shoulders sore or my knee, I've learned to visualize and imagine that healing and that energy flowing around that particular area. Mm -hmm. And it's been extremely helpful for me. Yeah. But the other thing that I, I've learned through this art is I, in fact, you were the first one I started going to your acupuncturist mm -hmm. that you recommended. And instead of just going to my Western doctor, which I do if I need to, I will go to a Chinese healing system first. Mm -hmm. And that has helped also with areas that I've had too much inflammation or any type of healing that I need. That's something I turn to also. Rather than taking like medicine right. or something first, I'll, I'll try that avenue before right. I do anything And else. I think to that point is previously, before I trained in Kung Fu, I might have not have thought that as an avenue for my health, yeah. right? And under, I think, our training and also the Pilates too, but it helps us to understand the body is a system, right? And we need mm -hmm good deep breathing to get the circulation going to the body, but that that type of healing through acupuncture or acupressure helps with those things, and Western medicine isn't always the right thing for what ails you, right? So I go regularly, especially the last few years, to help me deal with all the stress that I had at work, right? And talk about mental health, not only physical health, like the Kung Fu, helps me with my mental health, especially for me the last few years. So it, it helped me to have a release, uh, endorphins go, right? Um, and uh, Yeah, and that, that's what, you know, we're, we're taught in Kung Fu not to hold your breath. Right. Because if you take a punch and you're holding your breath and your body's very stiff, you're gonna feel that punch. Mm -hmm. If you breathe through that punch and move through it, you're not gonna feel the pain you know, because this is a contact. So we learn how to breathe through things instead of holding our breath and keeping everything tight mm -hmm. and up in your neck. And 
so you're learning how to relax your body in certain ways so that we can do workouts mm -hmm. the kind of workouts that we actually do mm -hmm. the kind mm -hmm. of combative training that we do you cannot do that without breath control right true mm -hmm. yeah true and also like we have all have days where we don't feel our best and like we're really tired but when we enter here we think oh maybe i won't go to class but when we say okay no get to class we feel better every After, time. Yeah, I remember Sifu telling me that years ago, just stay for class and you'll feel better. And every time, because I'm working on myself and, and healing my mind and my body on the mat, then I do, I, I feel better uh, when I leave. Yeah, and it's a good lesson that even the bad workouts in the bad combat training where you just want to kick yourself, it, it still is, um, it still is very therapeutic and very mm -hmm. healing when you can just say, that was a horrible workout. Or even laugh about it. And then right. you can laugh about it instead of beating yourself up about it. That's the yeah. thing that yeah. we've yes. learned. Yes. You don't beat yourself up for the mistakes. Right. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. You have to make the mistakes in here to figure it out out there. This is all like healing and health for our bodies. Mm -hmm. Because that, what you just said is huge, because I used to beat myself up if I had a bad class. I would just thrash myself and, you know, think about it all night. And then over time, I learned to let that go. Mm -hmm. And then you just, this art, you really become who you truly are. And it is an overall body, mind, health art. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that the outset when I started, that that's why it, the outcome that I would have anticipated. Right. Right. I, I did cardio with Sifu, so you guys too, to get in better shape. And uh, then the idea of Kung Fu came across, because my kids started, right? But then seeing how it, I think that sense of empowerment, that someone my size, your size, and being female gives you that being able to do what we can do also helps with the mental security. Right? Yes. And, you feel better because you've worked out and you've done something. You've also put your mind on that one thing for that length of time True. versus thinking about the 20,000 things in your head. But yeah. that empowerment of, that came about of learning a skill to keep yourself secure and your loved ones secure as well, I think helps as well. It's like with stress. Yeah. There's kind of a, put there's, in perspective. There's too. a reason why there's a sign out there that says leave it at the door. Right. Because you, you you can't think about 20,000 right. things and come in here and train. Right. So it's throwing a punch. But you, you better, yeah. you, otherwise you're getting punched in the face. Right. It's a quick lesson though, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. Yes. If you're it thinking is. about something else and you get punched in the face, you'll stop thinking you'll about, stop about, thinking about <laughs> that. Then you're thinking about that punch that's coming at you. True. Well, then you learn to prioritize too. Like what's really important, right? Right. Yes. And what's uh, really devastating and what's really not so devastating. I mean, I have had a bad day, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened to you that day. Yeah. Right. So we're talking about a lot about our mental health, yeah. right? And having tools to deal right. with it. Mm -hmm. I used to have a tremendous amount of anxiety sleeping at night mm -hmm. just because of whatever was going on. I just couldn't let it go, so I couldn't sleep. Now, I don't have oh, that right. anymore. I don't have that, the heart palpitations and the worry that I used to carry with me because now I realize I can't change that sitting in worry mm -hmm. you you know you can worry all you want but it's not going to do you any good right, right. you know it's not going to do them that you're worrying about any good because right. you're just worrying so that's the one thing that kung fu has given to me where it it's now you know maybe it's age two all of the above <laughs> it's um it's helped me let that go yeah i agree i agree that I constant worry yeah. is gone yeah. i don't i don't live in in that anymore I agree. I was and, similar to you. Yeah. yeah. And it's cool. There are feelings that I think when people are new in the system, they don't quite understand. But as they grow in the system, we talk about rooting ourselves. And, and in our Supi Ma, you know, get low, root yourself. There is something to be said about connecting to the earth 
and connecting to that foundation that we're building. Um, so, you know, even that feeling of that connection to the earth is like it's a connection to life. It's a connection to everything. And that's that whole body thing. The it's whole just body. Physical and it's mental and also the spiritual thing that you kind of talk mm -hmm. about. Not that I, I'm not necessarily particularly religious, but that is that type of whole whole thing that helps you develop. Yeah, it's right. not a religion. It's a, it's a spiritual thing that you connect to. And that, that comes through our training over time. You don't even realize right. that it's happening. Right. Kind of like right. what you right. said. Right. And then it just starts taking place and you notice it outside of the Kung Fu right. studio. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I, I think you know, like it was hard being women training with bigger guys, I think in the end it was to our benefit. Right. Um, yeah. So, um, and I think that for people saying, oh, well, it's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard, but just keep on going. Because it's hard to explain to them, yeah, we get physically tired in class and, you know, you might have a bruise here and there or, or Charlie horses because someone gave you a dead leg or you know, whatever. But that is just that for that time. Right. The benefits that over time, like you said, they don't understand like the benefits they're going to reap if they just keep on going right true we didn't know right yeah. yeah and i mean i think you guys can also attest to this like dealing with physical pain it's you pain is just pain mm -hmm. and you learn how to deal with mm -hmm. it you it, it's just another thing mm -hmm. that helps you yeah your back hurts mm -hmm. but it doesn't stop you from your day-to-day -day routine, right. you know, it doesn't debilitate you. It's, you know, dealing with pain, you can get very emotional about mm -hmm. it, or you can try to fix it. And sometimes it's just the breath work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just the mm -hmm. Tai Chi, mm -hmm. the Qigong, that actually gets you moving mm -hmm. and gets you going. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, move forward from there. Something I've been doing a lot lately is I bought myself a grass and tool. So I'm doing a lot of scraping. Oh, grass. And it's, you know, something that therapists use. And I don't claim to be a professional and I do it only to myself. But muscle scraping is similar to tapping our bodies. When we do tapping in mm -hmm. Kung Fu, it brings the blood to the surface and it helps, you know, it helps your body heal. Yeah, that helps everything to not be blocked if you have mm -hmm. an illness and you're working all that through mm -hmm. your body, the tapping is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that tool. Can you yeah. do some of the question sticks? I have those and I have a cupping set that I'll <laughs> get out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I may not know exactly what I'm doing, but no, it helps like with that tension and releasing, you know, uh -huh. uh, the inflammation. Yeah. It helps me so much, and so I'll get those out occasionally. Uh -huh. My moxibustion, my kung fu bag has like herbal patches <laughs> that heat up, herbal patches that don't heat up. Yeah, dip die out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Which for strains or bruising, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's it's good stuff. It's really good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, I just use like I bought a little tens device, right? That helps mm -hmm. to for my back, and then um, well the there again, or the hypervolt, or whatever. Oh yeah, um, I use every day because yeah. everything's always out of whack with me. But um, those types of things to kind of just keep my body going and healthy, and so I can move and train, right? Yeah, and ultimately, that's we want to feel healthy, and so we do all these things. We use all those tools so we can train and we can feel good. You know, right. that's exactly what I was going to say. the muscles say. around our joints. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I. That's exactly what it's going to say. I, I do all that, you know, the cupping and go for acupuncture and um, breathing techniques and things like that. I do all of that so that I can do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just made me remember to breathe right now. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> uh, after, you know, being here for 20 plus years, it's you learn because you're learning the body you're learning what your body needs. So, you know, cupping yourself or using a tool to scrape yourself is, is you know, you learn how to do it so that you can heal your body right. and feel the, heal those aches and pains that you might be getting.
Yeah, I mean, I only, really, I learned after 22 plus years. We've all been here about the <laughs> same time. Years, right. So, through everything that I've learned, the culture, the, the training at the village that we do, that's how I've learned, I've acquired all of these tools in order to keep myself healthier mm -hmm. and give myself the things that I need, you know, to right. function properly mm -hmm. and to feel really good and be my best. I also think, well, same number of well, the same yeah. years, of 20 yeah. plus years, of, but we learn from each other, like tools that work for each person, like this, I tried this, and this really helped me, so yeah. you might try that too, right? We share information. Um, I want to be able to train, and I want my body to function. That's my goal in training in Pilates with you, or doing going to acupuncture as well to get my keep my body systems up and running smoothly and being healthy. Um, and I think that having learned more about the body through kung fu has helped me to kind of, I guess, gravitate or seek those things out to help heal my body in different ways that I can just keep it going. And, and yeah. understanding what your body does, mm -hmm. too. Understanding what what's going to happen if you get knocked upside the head. You know, you, you, know, you, you understand your body so well mm -hmm. because of Kung Fu right. that you're not going to have an emotional response, hopefully, if you take a punch in the head or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing that fascinates me is learning about all the different things right. that your body can do and how to how to heal it, but also how to break it down. Right. Yeah. That's and, I've learned so much about anatomy through all of my training. Yeah. And therefore then I understand how to take care of myself better. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like because I know now I know where my liver is. I know where <laughs> <Yes>. my spleen <sweetest. laughs> is. You know that the vagus nerve disrupts your heart rate. Right? You know all kinds of stuff. And how to do it. Yeah. But that's the thing is that you, I think we have a grown to have a really good understanding of our bodies and what is right and what's not. But we don't just say, okay, it's just bad and just let it go. Like I want to heal it or make it improve it so that I can train, right? I don't just say, oh, my back's bad and just like, oh, okay, so I'm not going to train. And just like try to find other ways and sharing information or asking, what did you do? What did you do? And trying different things or asking, asking people, oh, but try this liniment or try this, you know. Yeah, in combat, we learn how to break it down when we need to, but then we learn how to heal it <laughs> when we need also to. Yes. combat, right? Yes. In the old times, they had healers as well on the battlefield, yeah. as well mm -hmm. as the war, because they needed the warriors or the soldiers to get healed or help them, yes. those who got injured. So it wasn't always just fighting, fighting, fighting. They had people there to heal as well. And I think that you can't just with what we do for as long as we've done, you can't just say, okay, it's all about combat, 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 because it's not balanced, right? So we have to really think about the other aspects of the duality of what we do. It can't yes. just be all, it's got to be balanced. You have to have that. You have the opposite yeah. thing to take care the of. The yin yang, the yin yang, yang right? So you have yang yang to do that yeah. because you can't do it otherwise. It's, mm -hmm. Otherwise you'll, and it's not about, otherwise you won't have longevity. Right. I guess that's my point. Can't do it for 20 plus years or more years and and do these things that we do if you don't take right. care of your body. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about being on the battlefield, right. like Qigong, mm -hmm. with an eight-piece brocade, mm -hmm. for example, that was taught by a general of the Chinese army. I learned that here, and I thought we've only been doing this, like we said, mm -hmm. 20 plus years. And just think this is thousands of years mm -hmm. old yeah. and we're doing that today. That's what right. we've learned mm -hmm. through our training. Mm -hmm. So cool, right? So cool. Yeah. yeah.